Morning guys, it's Sharon here from Good Karma. Um, I thought we'd do something different this morning. Um, I'm just going to be winging it really. Um, let's see what comes out. I've got a topic in my mind um, that I'd like to talk about. It's been rolling around my head um, for the past few hours in fact. And um, it's a very important topic. It's about lies and the effect that they have on the people that tell them and, and the people that they're aimed at. Um, everything, as you know, I, I believe that everything we think, say and do creates our own reality. And from that point of view, if we lie about somebody else or something, we're creating an, um, a lie. Our life is a lie. Our life becomes a lie. Um, and when we tell a lie, we're attracting ne negative energy to ourselves because it's wrong. A lie does not come from a place of love. It comes from a place of fear or anger, um, irresponsibility for our own behavior. That's, that's where lies come from. When we can't accept our own behavior, we try to make out that someone else has done something so we can actually hide what we may have done. And so, yeah, consequently, lies bring us negative energy. Um, you know, and if you tell a little lie, you get a little bit of negative energy. If you tell a whopper of a lie, you get a whole load of negative energy on your head. A whole load of it. And the person that you tell the lie to, or the people, if they believe the lies... Um, if they don't question what you've said, if they just take it as carte blanche and, you know, they believe your lies, your gossip, because that's ultimately what it is. Um, you then incur more and more negative energy. For every single person who believes your lies and doesn't question them, you, the liar, incur more negative energy, um, negative karma, and it will play out in your life. You, you will be ridden with guilt. You will not necessarily be able to sleep at night. You might become ill. You'll probably lose weight or, or, or maybe you'll eat because you need to put weight. You need to comfort yourself because you've lied. And then what happens after that is the people that you've lied to, they go spread the lie further. Yeah, no one keeps a secret. We know that. Yeah, it's very rare, very rare for someone to keep a secret totally. So they go tell the lie that you've just told to a load of other people. Gossip, gossip. And what's happening? What's happening? They're all incurring negative karma because they're spreading a lie without even questioning it, first off. Secondly, you're getting more and more negative karma on your head. More and more and more. And so this little lie, or big lie, whatever it was about, actually starts destroying you from the inside. Okay? Um... The person that you've lied about, often they'll probably try to defend themselves um, initially um, because they'll think, why are you lying about me? Why, why have you said that when it's so untrue? Yeah, And so they'll try and defend themselves, um, but they'll get to a point where they'll just go, what the fuck? I don't really give a shit, yeah? Because they know it's a lie. They know that what you said about them is totally untrue. And so ultimately, they just go, get on with it. You go spread your lies. You go do your thing. The only person you're hurting is yourself. Okay? Um, and that's how it goes with lies. All right? And the only way out of this situation, because ultimately you could end up like really sick, you could get cancer, you could get anything, yeah. This lie, it depends on the size of the lie, obviously. Um, and, of, and usually, once you've told one, you're going to have to tell more and more and more to, 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 to cover your back, to keep your story looking true, yeah. And then you'll probably forget some of the lies and you might make mistakes, uh, you know, because when you're lying, you don't remember everything you've said. When you're telling the truth, you don't have to remember anything because it's the truth, it's there. It, it, you don't have to make it up, okay. And so... There's only one way out. If you want to get out of the situation, there's only one way out. If you want to create 
a real life for yourself, one that isn't based on lies, there's only one way out, and that is through. You have to go through. There's no other way. There's no other way. You can't just ignore it and think that you can brush it under the carpet. That's not going to happen. The only way is through. And that means taking responsibility for what you've said and actually apologising to the person that you've lied about, telling people that you've lied to that it was a lie, okay? Because there's no other way out. There's no other way out. You lose. Lose, lose, lose. Lies, lose. And the only person who loses are the liars, yeah? No one else. Like I said, the people that you lie about actually end up being way, way stronger in themselves. Way, way stronger because they end up, they're not doubting themselves anymore. They don't care about what other people think because they know who they are. Your lies can't hurt them. Your lies only ever hurt you. So, yeah, the only way out is through. It's by facing what you've done. It's by taking responsibility for what you've done for what you've thought, for what you've said, and for what you've done. We all have to take responsibility for our own thoughts, our own words, and our own actions. Otherwise, they eat away at us. There's no escape. There's no escape. You have to go through it. So, there you go. That's my little take. That I needed to talk about that this morning because it's very important to me. Very important. It's very important that some people around me hear that. Yeah? Now, let's draw a card just to lighten the mood a bit. Let's have a... Okay, we've got two card, two decks here. Um, so we'll have two cards. We'll have two cards. So the first one I picked up was the Power of Love. For me, everything comes from love, yeah? If you love, if you love yourself and if you love others... If you love yourself, you can't lie, all right? You can't lie. And if you do lie, you're not loving yourself. We all tell lies, yeah? Little white lies. I told my partner once I was in the bath when I wasn't. I don't really tell major lies. I don't tell major lies. There's no really about it. I told one lie that affected me for years and years and years. It was about my cousin. I pretended. I broke the lie on his bike <laughs> when we were kids. And I told a lie. I made out that it was him. And... Um, that actually has haunted me my whole life and that's just something you know very very silly but that just shows the weight that a lie has on us and and and, and literally i think two years ago i messaged him and i apologized for, for for that lie so now i've unburdened myself um he didn't even know he didn't even know he didn't even remember it and so it didn't affect him whatsoever that's the thing yeah it doesn't affect other people it only affects us right and there's two cards so Oh, here we go. Past. <laughs> so this one is past. And it says, through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Um, that means a lot to me. Um, the past is done and the future is yet to be. All you have is the now, and the past is your greatest teacher. Everything that has happened up until this moment is the product of the person you see in the mirror. That is why the power of now is so important. Only in the present do you have the opportunity to create both your past and your future. Always be mindful of your present moment thoughts, because in seconds, now will be your past, which you cannot get back. You don't want the past to steal your future. And the bridge between the two is the present. Begin to live in present time and always remember that through loving, compassionate thoughts and actions, you are creating a past that you can be proud of and a bright future that awaits. This, just, this, this totally has just sprung a thought into my head. I didn't speak about lies to try and hurt anybody. I'm speaking about lies because it's really important for people to know that they can be forgiven, yeah? It, we all make mistakes, we all make mistakes. And seeking forgiveness, owning up, taking responsibility for what you've done 
if you've done something negative, if you've lied, if you've been disloyal, if, if you've been disrespectful, um, if you've been dishonest, obviously that's lying, if you have been unkind, you know, all these things can be turned around. They don't have to, you don't have to be these things. You can change, yeah? But the only way is through. You have to go through. You have to actually stop pushing things under the carpet and actually make things right with the people that you've hurt. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. Apologies, conversation, communication. And if you're talking, if you're talking to someone who's who's also coming from love, they'll forgive you. I forgive everybody who's hurt me. I don't have an issue with anybody. Nobody in this whole world do I have an issue with. But I don't allow people in my life that have hurt me unless they come back to me and apologise and talk to me about their behaviour, okay? So there we have it, the past. Now I'm going to draw one of these. I love these cards. I had, loads, I had a few... I call them my wild women um, around last night and we all we do cards and we talk about spiritual stuff and um, this deck this deck um, came out and this deck um, basically the card that you pull it it portrays it shows you um, in the way that you're thinking now, it shows you what kind of a future, what kind of reality you're creating for yourself through the way you're thinking now. Um, so, for example, if I was if I was living from fear right now, I, I would be create, creating a, a fearsome future. I would be afraid of everything. I wouldn't be happy in the now because I'd be afraid of everything. And cats are playing with feathers. Whereas I'm, I'm just full of love. And, and, and for everybody, and especially for myself, and because I'm full of love, I'm creating a very happy, healthy, abundant future, and I'm very pleased about that. I'm very pleased about where I am right now. So let's see, let's see what the energy card says this morning. Come on, Spirit, send us a card. This video is quite long this morning. Oh, there we go. Journey, number two. It's a beautiful card. Can you see that? Number two, journey. Movement, relocation and travel. Pack your bags. The journey card foretells upcoming travel or a shift in location. It may be as simple as a vacation, a retreat, or class, or even a work-related trip. This card could also signal a move of residence or a job relocation. The upright position indicates that the plan should go off without a hitch. Still, be clear about your motivations and mindful of logistics. All of life is a journey, and this card is telling you that you have some exciting and inspiring adventures ahead. And the affirmation... I am attracting wonderful new adventures to me. My life is a blessing, taking me to new places inside and out. Well, there you go. That's the energy that I'm producing at the moment because of where I am at in my life. I'm finally, finally cracked the self-love that I go on and on and on about. I finally cracked it. And um, I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy in the now and... and I'm very happy with the, with, the, with the people, the situations, everything that I'm attracting. Um, and I'm manifesting that because I'm loving myself. So come on, guys. Love yourself. Get yourself your best life. And the only way th is through, yeah? The only way is through. You've got to go through. You've got to look in and, and, and accept what you've done. Accept, you know, and change your thoughts. Change your words. Change your actions. Live your life with love. Live your life with love. Enjoy your Saturday.